Hey everyone and welcome back. So wanted to do a, a news update today because a couple of announcements have come in uh, from a couple different companies including uh, Vinegar Syndrome, Severin, Grindhouse Releasing, uh, definitely a few things to get to so wanted to I uh, dive right in. I was actually going to wait uh, another day. In fact, I've already pre-recorded a video that was actually going to go up today, but it's like, I'm actually going to delay this one because there are a couple of really exciting things that have been announced. So first up, Grindhouse Releasing has actually announced a new title. It's actually, I think, been just a little bit. Um, they don't release things too, too often, so when they do, it is kind of a big deal. And their new title coming March 8th is the movie Death Game, and that is, uh, some of you may remember the movie Knock Knock, the Eli Roth film, so that was, I think, sort of a loose remake of this one. Directed by Peter Traynor and starts uh, stars uh, Sandra Locke and Colleen Camp. And this Blu-ray release is going to have a brand new uh, 4K restoration that's done from the original camera negative. It's coming with a slew of extras, including several interviews with uh, some archival and some new, including with uh, Colleen Camp and director Peter Traynor, uh, conducted by Eli Roth, as well as some other ones with uh, Sandra Locke. Didn't she pass? I think she passed away. As well as audio commentary tracks with the director and star uh, Colleen Camp, as well as a booklet. Really cool looking slipcover. And if you order it directly from uh, Grindhouse Releasing, you can also get this limited edition uh, sort of meat cleaver keychain, which actually looks really cool. I ordered it uh, directly from them. But of course, if you just want the movie, it should be up uh, for pre-order, you know, from most places, you know, Amazon and things like that. But if you want the keychain, you definitely have to get it from uh, Grindhouse releasing direct and next up Severin has announced their uh, February titles there's three of them and uh, they actually look pretty interesting so first up is the film Stone which is an Australian film uh, made actually before Mad Max it's an over-the-top biker film uh, that's sort of directed by Sandy Harbutt who uh, has passed on but actually one of the last things he did was actually supervise the uh, restoration of this film and this is region free and is gonna have a couple of extras as well as the CD soundtrack and then the next two films are uh sort of caligula based films though not not the uh infamous um one from tinto brass and uh bob guccione <laughs> not not that version but these are two italian films one of them uh, is actually from joe d'amato so you know that's going to be uh probably a little bit extreme in some cases and that is uh the film caligula the untold story and it is presented in the original uh explicit italian version which is getting a new 2k transfer from the original negative but it's going to have two cuts of the film on the release it'll have the uh, the u.s cut as well as the italian extended cut and the difference between the two so the u.s cut is 95 minutes and the italian cut is 121 minutes so quite a difference there that one is also going to have a cd release and that is also going to be region free and the other caligula film that they're releasing is from none other than bruno Mattei, uh often called the italian ed wood though i do think he's actually quite talented not that ed wood wasn't but you know and, then, and that is the film caligula and messalina and that is also getting a new transfer from the original negative and that is going to also have two cuts of the film the extended x rated cut as well as an unrated cut and so the x-rated cut is 101 minutes and the unrated cut is 95 minutes and that is also gonna have a cd soundtrack but uh it looks like this one is gonna be region a though not region free and all three of these are up for pre-order right now at severin and they also have uh you know one of their bundles where you can get all of them at once and those are slated for february uh 22nd and vinegar syndrome has announced their january titles and they are uh, a lot of good ones here first one is a new title in their vsp uh line Line, which is their line that's sort of handling uh, some newer films. So this one actually I think is from 2021. Yeah, so definitely new. It's a Blu-ray release of the film uh, The Scary of 61st. And again, the VSP line, if you are a subscriber like me, is not uh, included in the subscription, but you can get it for 50% off. And uh, I just want to mention actually one of their partner labels before I get to uh, the rest of their lineup. This is from Culture Shock, and this is the film Girlfriend from Hell from 19. 1989. This is getting a Region A Blu-ray, and this is, uh, some of you may remember this one. God, I remember seeing this a long time ago. This is, again, probably on VHS way back when. And again, that is a partner label release, and there will be one VSA title for the month, and this is, I believe this is actually a trauma film, and this is a Fortress of America, spelled with Ks, from uh, 1989, and this is getting a brand new transfer from the original 35mm negative, and this is going to be a Region Free Blu-ray, and a limited edition of 
5,000, just like their other VSA titles. And then next up for the actual uh, Vinegar Syndrome releases, just their regular releases, uh, is the Blu-ray, a new Blu-ray, uh, region free, from uh, 1989 as well, and that is the movie Curfew, starring Kyle Richards, John Putch, and Wendell Wellman, and that is um, getting a new uh, 2K scan from the 35 millimeter inner positive. Their next Blu-ray release is the uh, Italian film from 1983 of the film Master of the World, also known as Conqueror of the World, sort of a early man survival kind of thing, and that is getting a new uh, transfer from the original camera negative. It's gonna be region free and that is also, I believe, the first time it's been released, I think, since VHS, but I could be wrong about that. And next up is another box set, and it is in, indeed the Forgotten Gialli Volume 4. Four. So happy that they're keeping up with this. And so this is going to have uh, three films in it, including Arabella Black Angel from 1989. And that's getting a new transfer from the original 35 millimeter camera negative. We'll have uh, the Italian language as well as the uh, English dub. Next film is The Killer is Still Among Us from 1986. Also getting a new transfer from the original negative. And I'm pretty sure that I've seen that. I that, That's the one I'm thinking of. That's actually a really, really good one. I don't think I've seen the other two, but I'm pretty sure I, I've seen that. That one and then finally uh the sister of ursula from uh 1978 that is also getting a new transfer from the original negative and all three are region free and i believe they're only uh, available at the moment uh in the box set and then finally their big 4k release of the month and that is uh the film dead heat from uh 1988 88 yeah that would be a 4k set as well as a blu-ray combo and that is the film with treat williams joe piscopo and uh, Vincent Price in one of his last roles, I think is actually, God, might have been his like second to last role, I think, because his last film was Edward Scissorhands, if I remember correctly. But it's getting a new 4K restoration from the original camera negative. And I believe it's coming, it has like a bunch of new interviews and it's also, I believe, porting over the commentary track that I think actually goes back, if I'm not mistaken, to the old uh, Anchor Bay DVD. Now this did get a Blu-ray release, but it was kind of a, like a sort of cheapo release and the transfer on it uh, like was really, really old. I mean, it's like a transfer that went back like way, way back. So I'm so glad this is finally getting a proper release because I always thought this was actually a really fun film It's kind of one of those where it's like yeah, it's, you know, it's like intentionally cheesy And again, those are the January lineup for uh, Vinegar Syndrome They're all up for pre-order right now or if you're a subscriber like me obviously uh, outside of just a couple of the uh, You know the VSA titles and the VSP title I mean obviously those aren't included but all the rest are and I did want to mention also Mondo Macabro has announced that they're gonna do their first 4k titles so another independent company is jumping into the 4K game, which is great to see. And they did confirm that their upcoming release of Dr. Caligari is going to be a 4K release. They did do a 4K restoration of the film, which did premiere at, I believe it was at, I'll tell you in one second, the Fantasia Fest. And that will have a 4K and a Blu-ray combo release that will be coming later this year. And then finally, a huge, huge announcement, at least for me, is the fact that Second Sight Films, uh, the UK company, has announced, they did announce a while ago that they were doing a new release of The Hitcher, which has been long overdue, but it's going to be Blu-ray only because they could not locate any of the original materials. Well, that has changed. They've actually been able to locate the original negative, which originally was thought to be lost. So they did post this on their Facebook page. Happy New Year, everyone, and to kick off 2022, some very exciting news on The Hitcher. We've tracked down the original camera negative. Thanks to Warner's archive team for allowing us access, we will be doing a full restoration for a 4k and blu-ray release later this year so that is exciting news not only uh, because we are long overdue for a really good release of the hitcher i mean there was a blu-ray release released in germany if I remember correctly because i i had that release a nice release but it was from an uh, older transfer and again when second sight originally announced this release it did look like it was going to be a uh, blu-ray only but so happy that they did find the negative it, like i remember it weird me out the fact that like like the hitcher i was like god they don't have the negative for that film like it was what 1986 or so but they did and that gives a god it's i mean if you think about it like you know that gives you hope for other films you know the fact that now we we actually found the uh long to be lost three hour cut of george romero's martin and now we actually 
have the negative to uh, the hitcher. Who knows? Maybe we'll even find a print of uh, Lon Chaney's, you know, London After Midnight or something. Yeah, you know, you never know. So definitely a lot of very exciting releases, a lot of cool things coming out. This year is really shaping up to be something special, I gotta tell you. And the video that is coming up is actually uh, some of my uh, titles that I'm looking forward to that are coming this year. Uh, so uh, while I didn't include it in that video, definitely include the hitcher as part of that now. Also uh, some ones that I think we might get this year, or at least I hope that we get this year. So keep an eye out for that video. But definitely let me know your thoughts. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.